was around us. Lord, you kept us all night long. You're the same yesterday, today, and forever. Now, Lord, remember the bereaved heart. Remember the Palmer family, the Harris family, my wife's uncle, family members in Jesus' name. Remember each pastor who's standing in John's shoes. Yes, Give him power to preach the gospel. Give him power. And Master, when this life journey comes to an end, we too, like others, must quit this walk of life. Pray that you receive our souls. Just any place in your holy kingdom where every day will be Sunday. Sabbath will have no end. And they all said, Amen. 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 Oh, when the saints march in, when the saints go marching in, oh Lord, I want to be in their number. Oh, when the saints go marching in, oh when they cry, oh when they cry, oh Lord, oh Lord, oh Lord, oh Lord, when they cry. by the choirs, oh, to be kept 
by Jesus. Amen.
to cry. I am not afraid to die. Yeah, I've got my Lord and I know he's on my side. Daily I trust him and never shall. I doubt him for God never fails. God never fails. God never fails. No, God never fails. Sin, fails. Sin. by the choirs, Somehow I Made It, yes, yes. led by Sister Patrice Ely. followed him. 
And it is a blessing that you read this entire uh, chapter. Right. Read this entire chapter. Right. I call this chapter, as I studied, as I read this chapter, the chapter on the doctrine of fear. Mm. The chapter on the doctrine of fear. Jesus is the greatest psychologist, the greatest psychiatrist that man can ever have and could ever have. But you got to read his word to understand the greatness of a mind regulator and a heart fixer in the person of Jesus Christ. I'll get settled here. Let me get my set together here. But I will forewarn you whom he shall fear. Fear him which after he hath killed hath power to cast Bro, mm -hmm. into hell. Right. Yea, that means yes. Mm -hmm. I say unto you, All right. fear him. Yeah. All right. The subject this morning, uh, who do you fear the most? Who do you fear the most? That is our subject text this morning. You may be seated. Who do you fear the most? Who do you fear the most? The PR Newswire dated on June the 27th, 2013. I got this off of the WW. Uh, dated the 27th, 2013 says that 84 percent of people hold on to uh, irrational fears. Hold on to irrational fears. It goes on to say that irrational fears have driven our actions throughout history and could have seriously hindered the modern world. All right, all right. Do you understand what he's saying? Mm -hmm. Our irrational fears dictate our lives. Right. Right. How we think, where we go, where we walk, All right. where we, how we talk. Mm -hmm. right. Honestly speaking, we have an untold number of people living in fear on a daily basis mm -hmm. due to sin, mm -hmm. man's transgressions. And the, the large absent, absenteeism from God and his church across this nation, America, from the east to the west coast, 
of the law to the south, there are many fear factors that have been generated because of our irrational fears of sin that has caused these things. Sin causes these kinds of fears. It is, not, it is noted that there are 500 named phobias that are listed on the websites. 500. Phobia. Imagining things that are not there. At one time they took it off, I guess. People walking down the street feeling that people are following them. Right. Mm-hmm. One sister in this church, she's, bless her soul, said that she was on the freeway and people followed her. Yes. Well, of course, people are following me on the freeways. It's going one way. Right. We're not gonna gonna lamb blast her, but because sometimes people have these yes. phobias. Yes. Now, case in point, I, I, I've I've coached several track and field females, even some me, some boys, mm-hmm. who have been uh, raped or sexually abused. They have been left uh, scared and, and, and scared of being touched. Right. Somebody, they draw their head back and touch them. Uh-huh. <laughs> and they go into a historical panic from any human social close interactions. All right, all right. That's a mechanism of defense from how they had been molested or guarding their uh, physical being. Then there was once a, well, several church members who feared staying in a house or in their apartment. They felt secure on the street or in parks. It seems just the opposite, but that was their phobia. Their fear. Instead of going home to their apartments. They uh, left the church and walked the streets and found a storefront or went to the park and spent the night. (laughs) Sin transgressions have caused so many to fear and have phobias until mass shootings are being called mental disorders. Right, yes, you are. Which are nothing but transgressions, fear, and anger uh-huh. goes in uh, goes into murder which is a way of avoiding the realities of life by not telling the truth. Uh That's because of the demons that have run wild and are unchecked Uh in the streets now. 
Even the politicians and the, the police hands are handcuffed. Because they say, if they don't steal over a certain amount of money, they get a misdemeanor. Wow. Right. Write them a ticket. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. They rob you, and then they give you a ticket. Oh, my Lord. My Lord. Because of the fear that, uh, this fear. Right. Fear, F E A R, is a monster when you allow it to control your thinking. When it, uh, you allow it to control and get in your heart, you become self conscious of who you're around and what you're doing. Lack of confidence in yourself. Yes. Fear will make you do that. Right. I have seen some get into sports competitions and, and, and freeze at the height of the competition because of fear. Right. If you let fear be in control of your life. Regardless of how articulate uh, you are as a speaker. Uh, when fear intercedes, you become a fumbling word, verbiage person. So I told Jeremiah, don't be afraid. If you do that, I'll confound you before. Mm -hmm. oh, we don't move in fear, children. We right. move in faith. Yeah. Fear will make you verbally stumble and fumble with words yes. Yes. in speaking what you want to say. Mm -hmm. right. As I heard the President of the pastoral sister Alicia Winbush and I was talking. Uh, the, she said something that was so gripping about fear. And I quote, fear, she said, is crippling. It, 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 it causes you to miss out yes. on the blessings of God. It causes you to not stand on your own feet. You got to lean on somebody else. Right. You're right. In order to feel comfortable right. instead of standing on God's word. Mm -hmm. It causes you to miss out on life's opportunities. Right. Yes, sir. makes you stay a baby girl or a baby boy mm -hmm. instead of growing up to be a man or a woman. Right. When controlled by fear, it, in deciding or in the process of making a decision, mm -hmm. it binds our faith in the Lord. Yeah. All right. To make the right decisions for our benefit. All right. it, it causes fear, causes a macrocosm. I use that word. Yes. Yes. The totality All right. of your life to go in the wrong direction. I do not really have to go in into extensive details in explaining the horrific 
and chilling effects of fear right. when you are by yourself <laughs> and yes. the devil starts talking to you well, right. instead of you listening to God. Yes, yes the, 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 the systems of the world are built on fear. Right. Keep you under control. Yeah. And the church seemingly is buying into it. Yeah. Instead of going back to church, instead of we should never we should never should not have ever left the church right. doing. They didn't leave the church in the 1900s when that horrific uh, pandemic came through the world. This post-COVID leaves a chilling fear. Yeah. We don't even sit by our, We sit with one another in the cafeterias. Uh -huh. We sit with one another on our jobs. Right. And when we come to church. Uh -huh. All right. Listen, Listen. All right. Yes, Listen. sir. Listen. Lord, Lord. We wear a double mask. The Apostle John says in 1 John, the fourth chapter, verse 18, there is no fear in love. But perfect love casteth out fear. Because fear hath torment. It, 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 it causes you to be upset inside. Uh -huh. It causes your mind to be disembodied. You, you can't think right. You can't feel right. You, you're constantly uptight. It's tormenting. John says, he that feareth is not made perfect in love. You got to put your Fear, you can do it. Yeah. You can put your fear aside and put faith there yeah. in God yeah. and love God with all your heart, yeah. soul, and mind, yeah. and your strength. Yeah. That's why I told you this morning, give all your all to all the Lord. Right. That'll dissipate fear. Amen. Yeah. What I'm hearing from the Apostle John is that you love the Lord mm -hmm. so much with all your heart, soul, and mind yes. and strength until you feel secure. Mm -hmm. Many people fear because they, in their, they feel insecure. Yeah. You don't hear what I'm saying. Yeah. Phobias and paranoias make you feel in. Secure. Yeah. Regardless what comes into your life, mm -hmm. what challenges you have to face in life, yes. the psalmist says, though the, the mountains skip and move yes. and so forth, I, I'm going to wait for the Lord. Amen. Yeah. The love that you have for the Lord, God, and and and, and the love that he, that he has for you. You got to know this. You got to believe it. You got to have faith. God loves you. He said, I'll never leave you nor forsake you. God is always bigger than your challenges. But you got to believe it. You got to hold on to it. You got to have that faith. Not fear. Lord God, and you you got to love God yes. with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength, Amen. and your neighbor as yourself. Yes. And you won't fear. Right. Like Job, trust him. Yes. 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 Even 
When you can't see God and you can't see your way, trust Him. Though you slay me, yet will I trust you. I'm going to stay right here. You know what he said? Though you kill me, yet I'm going to trust you. He believed God was right. You know that whatever the challenge is, God is righteous. He's a judge and he's greater than all our challenges. Yes, he is. He knows the beginning to the end. He knows just how much we can take. He knows just how much we can handle. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. Hebrews, the 10th chapter, verses 35 through 36 says, Cast not away, therefore, your confidence. Which hath great recompense of reward. Stay right there. Yeah. Yeah. During your challenges, put your trust in God. When you know you're going on the right road, put your trust in God. Yeah. Yeah. Stay right there with Him. Yeah. Yeah. For He have need of patience. Mm -hmm. That after you have done the will of God, you might receive the promise. Mm -hmm. He told you, stay right there. Yes. Yes. I'll never leave you nor forsake you. Right. I didn't know that I was going to have this I problem on this trip. Uh -huh. right. I'm talking about life trip. Uh -huh. But I got it. Right. But God, is, he has never left me. I didn't know. I didn't know that I was going to lose a house. Uh -huh. All right, all right. Go from apartment to apartment. Uh -huh. I didn't know that. I didn't know I was going to have uh, uh, repossession of the car. Uh -huh. I didn't know. But I stayed the course. Wow. Yeah. My wife and I caught the bus. We walked a mile with babies and pushing strollers to get to uh, nine, 1909 Market Street. Yeah. From Brookfield Village. Uh -huh. We would walk from Brookfield Village over to East 14th Street. Sometimes we would miss the bus. Wait there another 20 minutes and then ride down with the babies and the strollers on the bus yeah. to the Broadway and 14th. Then just get there and miss the 88. Uh -huh. But we stayed the course. Fear would tell you you can't make it. Fear would tell you stay home. Fear would tell you you lost the car. Fear would tell you don't have a home. Fear would tell you. Fear would say don't do it. But faith says go. He brought us out more than conquerors. Some want God to come right now. If God don't come right now, they get their lips all down on the ground. They get their head all crazy in the mind. You can't put time on God. It took some 20 years for this to start the leveling out. One theologian explains Hebrews, the 10th chapter, 35 through 36, in this manner. You need to persevere so that uh, when you have done the will of God, you will receive what he has promised. If you do your part, God will definitely do his part. He keeps his word. That's this theologian's explanation as the Exodus from for Hebrews, the 10th chapter 35, but then he continues to ex exegate to explain. Mm -hmm. yeah. Verse 36 by saying, Did you know that each one of us has a mission in life? Uh -huh. God has a will 
concerning us. He has chosen something very special for each one of us. But it is up to us to carry it out. It's your choice. Yes, right. yes. Some can't live without others. They depend on somebody else. Right. Instead of sometimes you got to say, no, thank you. Right, right. When you're in need, sometimes you got to say, nah, thank you, but no, thank you. Right. Sometimes you may be getting it from the wrong person. God has nothing to do with right. has a curse on that person right. you're receiving stuff yeah. you wonder why things are going bad why are things falling apart right. we go to St. Matthew the 25th chapter beginning with verse uh, 13 through 15 which uh, uh, he warns us puts us on alert. Uh -huh. Talking about Jesus. Uh -huh. Watch therefore mm -hmm. for we know neither the day nor the hour yes. wherein the Son of Man cometh. Yes. For the kingdom of heaven mm -hmm. is as a man traveling into a far country right. who calleth his own servants and divided and delivered unto them goods and unto one he gave five talents to another two talents and to another one talent you know the story to every man according to his several ability and straightway took his journey are you listening? Yeah. But 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 you read on down where each of these servants had to make their report to this certain man uh -huh. who uh, gave them uh, talents. Now listen to them giving their report. Reading from St. Matthew, the 25th chapter, verse 19 through 25. After a long time, the Lord of those servants, we're talking about Jesus coming back. Yeah. He's making it a parable. Right. After a long time, the Lord of those servants cometh and reckoneth with them. All right. And so he that had uh, received five, five talents, mm -hmm. came and brought other five talents. Right. Are you listening? Yeah. Saying, Lord, Lord, thou deliverest unto me five talents. Uh -huh. Behold, look, I have gained besides them five talents more. Uh -huh. His Lord said unto him, Well done, thou good and faithful servant. Thou hast been faithful over a few things. I will make thee ruler over many things. Enter thou into the joy of the Lord. Is that what we all want to hear? Then get busy. Stay busy. Yes. He also that had received two talents came and said, Lord, thou deliverest uh, to me two talents. Yes. Behold, I have gained two other talents yes. besides them. His Lord said unto him, Well done, good and faithful servant. Yes. Thou hast been faithful over a few things. Yes. I will make thee ruler over many things. Right. Enter, come on in. Uh, thou into the joy of thy Lord. Yeah, yeah. Then he which hath received the one talent came and said, Lord, I knew thee that thou art a hard man, 
reaping where thou has not sown and gathering where thou has not strawed. And, and I was uh, afraid. How many are working in the vineyard afraid to talk about Jesus on your job? How many are afraid uh, to mention Jesus in your classrooms? How many are afraid to talk about the Lord is good on your job and say that he is great in my heart? I was afraid and went and hid thy talent in the earth. Lo, lo, look, there thou hast that it uh, is this time. I, I brought it back. <laughs> How many will be empty? Oh, oh, oh yes, yeah, so we can say amen in the church. We can, we can sing and shout in the church. But what about out in the world? Right. Where your life should be burning. Yes. What about in your home? Yes. This chapter of St. Luke is filled with, and we know what happened to the servant uh, that had the one talent who brought it back. Yes. The Lord took it and gave it to the one who had ten yes. talents. Right. And he cast him out yes. into outer darkness. Right. The chapter where we are speaking from this morning, right. St. Luke is filled with the genius teachings of Jesus yes, in dealing with human fear. All right. All yes, right. he, he, he uses this opportunity to expose in this chapter, he begins to expose uh, in this chapter the doctrine of fear. I just, I just, let me use that term. The sound of doctrine of his genius. He, Jesus is a genius yeah. in, in, in simplifying how we really are inside. Yeah. Yeah. His teachings in dealing with life's fears mm -hmm. directly and indirectly is awesome. All right. he, the, the, the greatest Psychiatrist, the greatest psychologist. You don't need to pay your money. Just go to the Bible. Right, Study right. Jesus. Listen to what he said. You don't need to pay your money. No. No. One who needs Jesus. Right. Jesus, the greatest psychologist. Mm -hmm. yeah. Master. The greatest analyst. Mm -hmm. yeah. Jesus. Master. Not only knows about fear, but is an absolutely fearless teacher yeah. Yeah. Right. for teaching mankind. All right. For he begins his exegetical explanations about who and what to fear in life by saying in St. Luke the 12th chapter verse 5 but I will far warn you whom you should fear shall fear fear him which hath can kill and has power to throw, cast into hell. Yes. Uh -huh. Yea, I, I say unto you, fear him. Yes. Yes. But he starts this chapter off mm -hmm. <clears throat> All right. Go on. by talking about these hypocrites yes. called Pharisees. Yes. Right. So they don't be like them. Mm -hmm. right. Sometimes we be around people who are in authority. Who don't go to church. Right. Or if they go to church, they got the old church agenda. Right. Religiosity. 
that they want you to feel condemned when they talk about you go to church too much. You pay your tithes and offerings. That's too much. When they go to Reno and they spend two or three hundred dollars on dresses just to go out. They have their own uh, hypocritical way of what they call serving God. They try to tell you how. And, and then uh, if you listen long enough, you'll become uh, irrational in fear right. and really speaking out about where you stand for the Lord Jesus Christ. Right. Right. My mind goes back to what Jesus said about being uh, his disciple in St. Luke, the 14th chapter, verse 26. He says, if any, listen, if any man come to me and hate not his father and mother and wife and children and brethren and sisters, yes, yea, and his own life also, he cannot be my disciple. Right. 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 That's true. What do you fear the most? Oh, right. That's crippling you. I'm going to use your words, Sister Alicia. Yes, brother. Fear is crippling. Yes. Right. yes, it is. Some wonder why I have this problem. Why do I have this? Why can't I get it? Mm -hmm. What fear are you? Who are you fearing? All right. The Lord answers your prayer, and you know it's the Lord. And the next thing, there you go back in your slump uh -huh. mm. of irrational phobias, uh -huh. phobia. You want this, you want that, you want this, you want that. What do you really want? Mm -hmm. What do you really need? All right. All right. All right. You need the love of God in your heart yeah. all the way. Yeah. You're loving the wrong thing. That's why you're fearing. Right. Loving the wrong person. That's why you fear it. You love and want the wrong thing in life. That's why you fear. Positions don't make you happy. Gives you more responsibility. Jesus exposes the undergirding fear of humanity, which Science calls the fear of self-preservation. Mm. The temporal life, our limited life mm -hmm. span and, and, and redirect, he does, where our fear should be placed. We should have our fear on the everlasting God. Amen. All right. All right. Why? One day, death will transition us yes. out of this life. Yes. And we must stand before the God Almighty. Yes. God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Yes. My late pastor would say, my trembling soul. Yes. yes. He's the judge. He knows your very thoughts. Yes. He knows your very feelings. Yes. He knows how you act. Yes, he does. He knows. What are you what are you being governed by? Mm -hmm. Are you being governed by fear or faith? All right. All right. All right. Oh my Lord. Some say. You know what? I, I, I should have said that I love Jesus, but I didn't because I just didn't want to disturb them. I know they they my family members, and I just don't want to say anything. I just I'm just uh, 
fear, phobia of what they will not do for you. They leave you. You don't, you don't want to be left alone. You want to you want to have company. You want to keep them there with you. Well, if Jesus don't keep them, then who else? Jesus teaches his disciples that they should not fear where the next meal or their clothing will come from. That's right. When <clears throat> this building, this church, well, all right, all right. I had to I did it because I felt the church needed a home. Yeah. 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 Right. I said, Lord, if I lose our, our home, I just lose it for your sake. All right. I didn't fear by putting my name. All right. Listen. All right. On that blowed out of proportion contract. Well, yes. all right, all right. Interest low. Uh -huh. yeah. Because I was thinking about the church. Yes. All right. I trusted God. Yes, sir. Yes, you did. To make a long story short, the Lord did not leave me hanging. Right. We got a better hope. God gave us this building. It was God, children. Yes. But you can't fear when you're doing God's will. He points out five small birds. Speaking about sparrows. Yes. Are sold for only two pennies. Uh -huh. yes. Two pence. Then he goes on to say, uh, God, but God does not forget any of them. No. Why? Yeah. And he says down there, he says, he says, you more than yeah. many sparrows. Right. God is going to take care of you. But you got the wrong, you got your fear in the wrong place. You're looking at those who own your home. Who, who, who have control over your home. Instead of looking to God. God controls them. But you got to have faith in God. Be patient. Yes. Jesus goes on to say that, yes, God even knows how many hairs you have on your head. Yeah. All right, all the geniuses in here and out there who's looking, count the hairs on your head. Yeah. Count them. Even if you're bald-headed, there's something that's there. Can I count all the holes? Yeah. <laughs> Where hair grows. Yes, yes. Nobody is that smart. Right. But God. Right. Don't you know He cares for you? Don't He if He cares that much and know every hair on your head? Don't you know He cares for you? Yes, He does. Yes, he does. Amen. Yeah. Uh, and as I prepared this message, I, I had to stop it and think. I don't know how many hairs, even though I'm bald in some spots, I still don't know the hairs around that bald spot. Uh -huh. That's right. Therefore, it lets me know that I can't keep myself. That's 
It's God who wakes me up. It's God who protects me. All of my life, before I was born, it was God who brought me out of the womb. God who kept me as a child. God who kept me as a youth. God who's kept me as a young man. God who's kept me as a adult. God who's kept me. He's keeping me now. God. By his grace and mercy. Yes. Some people think he's there in control. Mm. Oh, no. God just give you the mind to think wrong. Yeah. That's your thinking. Right. He don't give you the mind to think wrong. You just think wrong. Right. He's the one. It's your decision to think wrong. Yeah. You don't make right. me think wrong. No. No wrong. From the cradle up until now, it has been God who's been keeping me. All right. One thing Jesus is letting us know, and that is we can't, we can reprioritize our life's likes and dislikes. Mm -hmm. Excuse me for a minute. Jesus is on the main line, telling him what you want. Oh. Jesus is on the main line, telling him what you want. Jesus is on the main line, telling him what you want. Call him up and tell him what you want. Call him. chapter redirects our priorities off of what we have or what we don't have. Uh -huh. uh, we, he brings in focus about a man who came to him right. and, and said, Lord, uh, uh, tell my brother to give me part of that inheritance. Uh -huh. Jesus told him that man who made me uh, a divider between you and don't, don't get caught up in wanting somebody else's stuff. Sometimes even in your family uh, environment, especially when the family member dies, there's an uproar among family members. That's mine. When I was, when she was alive and when he was alive, he told me I could have that. And he, look, let them have it. Don't get caught up in that. He says, she says stuff. The Lord points out in this chapter, he says there was a man who was rich. And uh, he was blessed uh, to have abundance of fruits and other crops. And uh, overlooking his blessing, he said, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. He never said, Lord, thank you uh -huh. for blessing me. Yes, sir. 
Right. And I'm going to help those who don't have. Right. But he said that I'm going to turn down my boys. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm going to build bigger boys that I can store my fruit and my uh, things that I have. Right. Right. And I'm going to tell my soul. Mm. Soul be at rest. Yeah. Well, Are you going to uh, enjoy this for a long time. Right. You're going to sit back and enjoy uh, this fruit well. and these abundance for a long time. Right. But uh, we used to sing a song that, oh, be careful uh, what a uh, little mouth what you say. But right. well, there's a God up above Looking down with tender love. Yes. Right. Oh, be careful, little mouth, what you say. Yes. Right. Oh, be careful, little feet, where you go. Yes. But there's a God up above. Yes. Looking down with tender love. You don't hear what I'm trying to say. Oh, be careful, little feet, where you go. Right. This man, this rich man, uh, uh, didn't realize he, uh, Voided out God in his life. Yeah. You got to be careful when God blesses you. Yeah. Because you begin to become ownership right. instead of stewardship right. over what he's blessed you with. Right. He gave your mind to uh, go out and get others in the, to the field of thinking of like, like Jesus. Right. Right. I'm trying to tell you, uh, be like those who have the talent. Yeah. God has blessed you yes. to have these talents that you have. Yes. Yes. Use them to his glory yes. and honor. Yes. That uh, you can bring in the boards and the fruit. Yes. Let me get back to this rich man right. who said so a bit ease. Yes. But God said this night, this night. thou fool uh -huh. yes. your soul shall be required yes. before me this night. Right. Then those things that you have you're building for. Uh -huh. Whose things will they be? Right. You got to be careful uh -huh. not to be uh, uh, one who's covetous. Yeah. Right. You got to be careful to be storing up and uh, thinking that you're going to live a comfortable life. Right. Because tomorrow, a yeah. uh, disaster may come in and yeah. take right. everything right. you have. Right. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Right. Yeah. Go back to the fears now. Don't think about tomorrow. Like the Lord it. says, because tomorrow will take care of itself. Yes. Sufficient is the evils of today. Right. You walk in the... Oh, you're not hearing what I'm right. saying. The fear will cause you not to praise God. Right. Like some said in the church, yeah. because you have uh, done things that you weren't supposed to do. Right. God will forgive you. Yes. And then walk on by faith. Yeah. God will hold you up when you're falling down. Ask him to pick you up and hold you in his hand. Don't try to hold his hand. You just let him hold you and let him guide you. Because when he guides you, he will guide you in the right pathway. When you can go down the right pathway saying, thank you, Jesus. Thank you for another day. Thank you for where you brought me. Thank you for where you put food on my table. Yes. 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 God has been good to us. Yes. Yes. Brought us from a mighty long way. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He, he, he takes us out of our fears. Yes. When he answers your prayers and yes. put faith where you can walk and tell somebody else yes. that I was there one time. Yes. I didn't have food on the table, yes. but I prayed and looked to God. Yes. And he put food in my refrigerator. He put food on my table. I prayed to God when I was down and I was sick. He touched and healed my body. He's the same God yesterday, today, and forever. Do you know him? Have you tried it? He's the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. His name is Jesus. He will walk with you. He will talk with you. He'll disappear. And all of those fears of focus. Sometimes we feel that we don't have a friend. But let 
Jesus be a friend. He's a friend in the morning. He's a friend at night. He's a friend when you lay down. He's a friend when you get up. He's a friend when you drive down the street. He's a friend when you walk. He's a friend when you talk. Let him be your friend. Hold on to God. Or let him hold you. He'll never let you go. Read this 12th chapter of St. Luke. Amen. Yeah. It tells you about who to fear. Yes. Some worry about uh, tomorrow. Uh -huh. my Lord, my Lord. Many now in the world are looking at these horoscopes. Uh -huh. <laughs> They're listening to man. Uh -huh. They're talking about this uh, climate change. Uh -huh. right. 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 Yes. Saying that the fires that's happening in uh, Hawaii, I believe it is. Yes. Amen. And uh, the heat wave back in east uh, uh, on the east coast and in the south mm -hmm. is because of climate change. Oh. Right. They talk about how this La Nino, I think it is, El Nino. Yeah, it's coming and it's changing the atmosphere where we're going to be living. Uh, they're talking about how the storm is hitting down in Southern California. Yeah, but they're not listening. They, they're listening to, uh, to their own systematic way to try and ease people's mind away from God. Right. Satan got a way to uh, have you afraid yes. when you should have fear or faith Amen. in God. Right. Amen. Yes. Yes. Yeah, they'll tell you that a storm is coming. Right. But they're not telling you that the storm is already here. Yes. Right. Uh, when you don't trust in God, right. you're going to have a storm. Yes. When you don't Depend on God, you're going to have murder right. up and down right. the streets. Right. Right. When you don't depend on God and right. love Him with all your heart, yeah. soul, and mind, yeah. you're going to be confused in mind. Yeah. Right. Right. You're going to have sickness in the body. Right. Right. Yeah, God is trying to tell this nation uh -huh. to return unto Him. Yes. And He oh, will man. return unto them. Yeah. But they're not listening. So God is not going to back down from doing what he's doing. Yeah. People are fearing the wrong fears. They're fearing about the storm is coming. But they're not fearing the, the storm rider. He can ride every storm. He can calm your nerves. The first thing that he did when he stepped out and uh, the disciples came and said, Master, cares that I die, yeah. uh, that we don't perish. Yeah. And then he got up and the first thing he said, oh, you fear it too much. Yeah. You, you be calm. Stay, stay cool. Yeah. And then he said, peace be still. Yeah. I'm trying to tell you, he calmed their fears first. Yeah. The first thing that we need to do as a nation is go back to God yeah. and get our fears straight. Yeah. Get our fears redirected. So yeah, who holds the world in his hand? He's a mind regulator. Fear God. He's a heart fixer. Oh Lord, have mercy. He'll control those uh, fears that you have, the phobias that you have in your heart. Go to Jesus on your knees. Go to Jesus while you walk in the street. He'll be with you. They call they call the police popo. Uh -huh. Popo can't be everywhere. No, but Jesus can. Yes, he will. Yes, he will. Yes, he will. We got our fears in the wrong place wow. as a nation. Yes, yes. We got our fears in the wrong place uh -huh. as a, a, a state here. Yes, yes. Uh -huh. yes. Right. God has been trying to tell us something uh -huh. with this COVID. Uh -huh. God has been trying to tell us with the fires all around us uh -huh. in California. Uh -huh. Yes. 
Go back 50 or 40, go back 30, 40 years. Uh -huh. We never had this kind of problem. Oh, no. Homeless on the street. Yes. Right. Yes. Robbing as they're doing. Right. Yes. You know why? Because more people attended church. Yes. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Mm -hmm. More people had their children in church. Yes. Right. Yes. More people had faith in God. Yes. That's right. That's right. Yeah. I'm glad to hear these young people who are uh, uh, in the sports arena. All right. Uh huh. They're saying, "I thank God." Yeah, Lord. Yes. Yeah. 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 They're placing the right place right. Right. in the right place. Right. Right. Yes. Right. right. Yeah. When you start thinking that you are the only one. Uh huh. God got somebody else better than you. Yes, yes. Right. yes, yes. Right. yes. Give God the glory. Yes. 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 Keep God right in your life. Yes. 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 Right. He told his disciples, don't worry about where you're going to eat, what you're going right. right. to eat. Right. You worry too much. Right. <laughs> He's a mind regulator. Yes, yes. 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 Sure, we, we are human. Yes. Yes. Sure, we have these these uh, unexpected fears come up, right. but give it to the Lord. Right. 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 Amen. Change that fear for faith. Yes. Right. Yes. Yes. Amen. Then I will trust oh, yeah. in the Lord. Oh, yeah. I trust in him when we think we got it under control. Right. But what about when we don't have it under yeah. control? Right. Who are we going to trust in? Right. Right. All right. Yeah. He's a good God. Yes. Yes. He says he'll never leave you yes. right. nor forsake you. Right. I've been on this road for a long time right. and he's true to his word. Yes. Yes. Yeah, I've been overseas. Uh -huh. I stayed 15 months in Turkey. Uh -huh. Uh, an isolated area. Uh -huh. He was with me there. Yes. Yeah, and I stayed two years and two months in England. I traveled there. He was there. Right. I traveled across the water several times. Uh -huh. He was in the plane. Yes. I flown uh, to St. Louis and etc. He was there. Yes. He's been with me all my life. All right. Yeah, sometimes we get on the airplane and yeah, uh, we're a little uh, apprehensive. Uh -huh. We have this phobia about, I do, about flying. Uh -huh. But when you trust in God, All right. uh, that's the way God wants us to do. Right. We don't go, as my late pastor would say, to the pilot, can you pilot this plane? Uh -huh. How long have you been piloting? Uh -huh. We just go and have our seat. Uh -huh. And then yeah. we sit down and enjoy our get in the air. And I don't know, sometimes we be praying. Yeah, but we still... Arrive the play. Right. That's what God wants us to do. Yes. Sit down and let him be in charge. Yes. Let Jesus yes. control your life. Yes. Let him guide you by the power of the Holy Ghost. Right. He will hold you. Yes. He will help you. Yes, yes he will. Yes. And you'll yes. get on the other side. Yes. Right. You'll get on the other side of your challenges. Yes. Have you yes. trusted him? Yes. Have you called on him? Yes. And you didn't know what to do. Yes. Did he bring you out? Yes. The same yesterday, the day and forever. He will never leave you. I know what I'm talking about. He brought me to the thick and thin. He brought us. Yeah, Lord. God bless you. Bless your assurance, Jesus.